I am Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers and viewers to make these videos a learning site and also sharing and posting excellent questions. Now here is a solution to one of the questions posted yesterday. The question here is, volume of a bucket in the shape of a frustrum is 12308.8 cm3. The top radius is 20 cm and the bottom radius is 12 cm. Find the height of the frustrum and also calculate the area of the metal sheet required in making the bucket. Now as you have seen most of my videos will have solution half the page. Now this will run much longer. So what I have done here is I am making two videos to solve this. In this particular video we will find the height of the frustrum and in the next we will work on the surface area of the same right. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> I assume that you know most of the formulas but I will just uh, write the formulas whenever required. As you know, frustrum is kind of like this. Let me sketch one here and then we'll discuss about that also. Now we have something like like a cone, right? We have something like a cone. And if we cut this cone from somewhere in between, let us say, let's say if we cut it from here, then what you get on the top is called the frustrum. So what you get here on the top is called the frustrum. Okay, so that is what we're talking about. So volume of the bucket in the shape of a frustrum. So that is the shape which we are talking about. So this is this is our bucket, right? <clears throat> uh, let me make the axis here, and then we'll complete this diagram. So the volume of this portion, the top portion, is that much. Top radii is. 20 centimeters so let's say this part is from here to here 20 centimeters so I'm not writing centimeters and the bottom is 12 and from here to here it is 12 find the height of this frustrum so we have to find this height and also calculate area of the metal sheet so metal sheet will be the outside surface area including the bottom in making the bucket which area of the metal sheet that is the surface area of this frustrum will take up in the next video right so now I understand <coughs> that <coughs> we need to find height and that is part one of this video let's see how to do it so I could actually put a formula for frustrum and solve it straight away but I'm not going to do that I'm going to derive the formula in this case so that all those who uh, you know don't understand the formula can actually understand the solution so let me assume that this portion which has been cut off has a height of a right so let this be height of a in that case the total height of this cone would have been h plus a right so let's consider like this so the total height would have been h plus a so I am trying to solve this question from the basic principles, not by using the formula. If you know the formula, well, you can always use it and then solve it, correct? Okay, now volume of a cone, that formula I am not deriving, okay? So we know volume of a cone is basically one third the volume of a cylinder, right, which is pi r square h so that's easy way of learning the volume of a cone pi r square h is the volume of the cylinder one third of it three cones can fit into a cylinder okay so that's the formula which we are going to use now if i'm talking about the frustrum then volume of the frustrum let me say f is equals to the volume of the cone <coughs> there are two cones now right so volume of the big cone which has the height of h plus a minus volume of the small cone which has the a height of a correct <coughs> so so that is what we are interested in our first term here is this portion right so we are interested in this portion the top portion we are interested in that's the portion okay so this is what we are interested in 
correct so so if you have to find the volume or the capacity of this bucket in that case you have to take away that capacity from the whole volume of the cone correct so as you can see the formula requires 1 by 3 pi r square h for the whole cone so what we'll do is uh, we know the we don't know both the heights in this particular case right so it's very difficult to use the formula directly but what we really know is that we know the relation between a and h right since we have here similar triangles so we are using the concept of similar triangles to find relation between height h and a so look into this triangle now big triangle okay now i'm drawing a line here this line is parallel to this so so this big triangle is similar to the small triangle right now since they are similar we can use the properties of similar triangles so in similar triangles the ratios of the sides are constant correct so so we'll use that formula so ratios of the side so big triangle height is a plus h we say a plus h is height of the big triangle this height over 20 should be equal to in small triangle a over 12 now this relation we get from similar triangles correct and that will relate a with h do you see that so we will have this volume equation only in height rather than uh, <coughs> I mean the total height h instead of two variables h and a so let's relate them so we'll cross multiply so we say 12 times <coughs> equals to 20 times a right you could simplify this also 12 20 this could be simplified anyway we'll just do it so we have here 12 h I'll write 12 a plus 12 h equals to 20 a and we'll rearrange and in that case we have 12 h equals to 20 a minus 12 a and that is 12 h equals to 8 a or 8 equals to 12 height over 8 and that is you can divide both by 4 3 by 2 or 1.5 times right so we get that a is 1.5 times the height so if you want to use fractions you can use fractions or if you want to use decimals you can say a is 1.5 times height either way it is fine correct anyway so what we have done at this stage is we have just derived relation between this a and this height okay now now we'll concentrate on volume so as we have written the formula here volume is given to us is 12308.8 that's the total volume of this this side right so we can write this volume which is 12308.8 how much is this equal to this is volume of the big code we'll use this formula 1 by 3 pi r square h so we'll write 1 by 3 pi big cone radius is 20 right 20 square and height so height is h plus a right height is h plus a so so from here we know a is 1.5 times height so what is h plus a we say h plus a equals to h plus 1.5 h so which is 2.5 h is that okay so we can use 2.5 h as the height so <clears throat> so what we learned here is that this height if that is this is h then it is two and a half times right so a plus h is 2.5 h is it okay so that is how whole over this small portion is related right so so we'll use 2.5 h here right 2.5 h so that is the big volume take away the smaller one this one right which is 1 by 3 pi radius is 12 square and a in terms of height is 1.5 h so we'll write this as 1.5 h right is it okay so what we have done here is that we have used this relation 
which we just found how a this height is related with h correct so we found that a is equals to 1.5 h and a plus h is equals to 2.5 h is that okay so we are using this here now as you can see the total volume of this area i mean this portion is big volume take away the small volume so 1 by 3 pi r square h direct application of the formula take away 1 by 3 pi this r square and that height a correct we converted a into h so that we have only one variable to work with is that okay so now uh, let's look look into the the right side you can actually calculate all these numbers that'd be easy for you to do right so what we will do here is we'll just simply use calculator and calculate these numbers i don't want to factor and then do it we can just calculate right so we'll do uh, we'll divide by 3 later let me do 3.14 for pi right times 20 square times 2.5 and now we'll divide by 3 divide by 3 right equals to so that gives you a decimal number which is let me write here this is a decimal number which is we could do all in one shot also okay 1046 0.6 recurring minus we'll do this portion which is 3.14 times 12 square times 1.5 divided by 3 equals to in decimals so it is okay i should have written height h let me write h minus 226.08 h right so so we could do now two stages so we do 1046.6 take away 226.08 and that gives us a decimal again 820.52h right so so what we are doing here is we are saying this volume is equal to that much let's rewrite 12308.8 so height is how much it will be 12308.8 divided by 820.52 okay so let's divide we have one two three zero eight point eight divided by eight two zero point five two that gives us fifteen point zero zero right so so we get height as equals to fifteen point zero zero well that's very close so we did some rounding but anyway we got a good answer here 15 right so we say our answer is that height of bucket is 15 centimeters right so i hope that part is absolutely clear you can actually try the later half also which is calculating the area of the metal sheet now so for metal sheet area i'm not solving but i'm just giving you a formula here so surface area of cone is equals to pi r l where l is a slant height right so if if i have this l is this length right so the surface area of a cone is pi r l and you know surface area of circle is pi r square so you need this bottom will be this portion is it okay so add these two so basically you need to find the small i mean you understand you need to find this takeaway just as we did here anyway using these formulas you can actually do the later half also try it out and i'll provide you with a link so that you can just check it so what i've done in the other question i actually modified the question and i'm saying if the height of the bucket is 15 then what metal area is required right so that's the modified question which we'll take up in the next video I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thanks for sharing and participating with my videos. Thank you and all the best.